again, YouTube. I'm going out for another adventure. It is December 11th, uh, about 38 degrees outside. It's been wet last night, although I think the rain is finally stopping. And I'm on my way back to Potato Creek, which I went to about a month ago to hike, which I didn't end up doing a whole lot of since it was so windy that day. But I'm on my way back there with the intention of uh, spending the night tonight. Probably will be in the truck, just because it's been so wet, I don't think I'm gonna set up a tent and deal with wet, soggy ground. Probably just sleep back there, and I will show you that setup eventually. Uh, it's a little after three o'clock right now. I've got about two hours of daylight left since that's super early here in the winter, and we are right in very close to the shortest days of the year. So pretty soon the daylight will be coming back, but try to get out and do a little bit of hiking for the two hours that I do have and actually enjoy some outdoor weather and then uh, cook some food maybe just sit around in peace and quiet darkness just away from people and hopefully have a good time so if you're interested I'm glad to have you along for the ride and I will see you up ahead probably in the park we are in for the night back to the campground now, but I think we're going to stop and uh, take a look at a couple of things before that. If you watched my other video, this place might look familiar to you. We were here, well I was here about a month ago. Probably will end up uploading these videos within a few days of each other when I finally get around to that. I'm lazy, but it's crazy how much it's changed since then. That day I was wearing shorts and a light sweatshirt. Today it's cold enough I have to wear some layers. Probably don't need this big thick thing right now. It's about 40 degrees, but uh, it's going to be around freezing tonight. But I still think I have enough clothing and uh, blankets and stuff to keep warm. But two hours of daylight left. I'm going to try to head down to those hiking trails where it was super windy before. And we'll take a little walk, but we're in. Actually gonna head down this path first. This led to the uh, prairie maze and down to the water's edge. So we're gonna check that out. There's a slight, very slight cold breeze, but you know, for almost the middle of December, 40 degrees is not too bad. I was kind of hoping there would be snow when I had the time to come out and do this video, but I uh, guess it just wasn't meant to be this time. Oh wow. Prairie maze has been flattened to quite a big degree. Water looks relatively calm, actually very calm. cool thing about Potato Creek, at least in my opinion, is um, you're really not that far away from cities or from stores or from civilization or anything like that, but the place is big enough that it feels like you are, so in the middle of Indiana, it's a great place to escape to, great place to come just to get some nature, some peace and quiet. I work in a really loud warehouse, so, <coughs> excuse me being out here just with not very many people in my immediate area in the quiet sounds of the birds and everything peaceful I really like it keep walking I'll see you up at the head at the water all right it's a little colder out here than I thought with the slight breeze coming from the water but it's definitely a lot calmer today actually see the bottom of the lake. I don't remember if I could before. It was so wavy. It looks like it's pretty shallow here going out for quite a distance. Time to put some gloves on.
wonder what that is. A tower. Maybe a cell tower or something. I don't know. All right. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to head back to the actual trails where I was before, where we didn't go very far in since of how windy it was. As calm as it is today, it should be safer to walk. I've got, I don't know, it's about 345, 343. A little over an hour, hour and a half of daylight left to do a little bit of walking, and then I'm gonna head to the campsite for the night, cook and just chill. So I'll see you up ahead once again. If you watched my other video, you may call this area is where I came back up when it was super windy that day and judging by this a lot of fresh timber sawed up a piece right there a piece right here somebody was cutting over here it looks like I'm guessing quite a few things fell and we're gonna head back down this way and uh, take a left where I didn't end up going that one time to see what awaits us around that corner. As pretty as this place would have been, probably about two months ago now, late October, early November. Um, and as crazy as some people might think cold weather camping is, I kind of like it like this. It's the whole reason I'm out here, is to get away from people, to enjoy some quiet. And in December, that's pretty much what it is. There's almost nobody here, quiet and peaceful. And the other big, big thing, no mosquitoes, no flies, no insects really to bother you this late in the year when it's cold. So that can make the experience better. Like I said, 40 degrees is really not too, too bad. Now we'll see what it drops to tonight. The prediction is 32. I don't really have any reason to think it's going to be much lower than that, if at all. But it's going to be fun to uh, find out whether my truck camping setup is going to be comfortable or doable or warm at all so we'll find out together and this trail looks like it goes straight for away so if i see anything interesting i'll uh, pick back up but for now i'm just going to keep walking and enjoy the peace and quiet well i didn't get very far before i came across this this looks like a relatively recent break here. Probably fell on that one super windy day I was out here. If I had been coming right down this path, or anybody really, could have fallen right on your head, that would kill you. So, the more I see, the more I think I made the smart decision that day by not really walking out here very far. will do unless I see something interesting uh, for the video that I just feel like I have to comment on any uh, clips ahead of this for a little bit will probably just be um, silent try not to feature too much commentary at least until I get back to the parking lot
beaver or squirrel. No idea squirrels chewing on an acorn could be that loud. The things you learn in here. Interesting. Now if it's a nice sunny day, maybe about 60. 70 degrees. This looks like it would be a nice spot to sit for a little while. But as it is, this bench looks a little bit wet. It's cold, overcast. And as pretty as it still is out here, there's no reason for me to stop. Especially with uh, my amount of daylight running out. up here. Keep going. Surprised to find still a little bit of greenery out here. And look really closely. Some little red berries. It's about the only color. Except for me. That's not some kind of really dull drab brown color. Or anything like that, but nice little growth of them here. A whole bunch up here. More over here. It's cool how little stuff like this survives. There's a whole lot. Some more relatively recently cut timber. Probably DNR is doing this. I'd like to get a hands on a few of these pieces for at home, but okay, yeah. It looks like this trail is starting to move back now. I just heard a really loud car or loud car out that way. So I think there's a road just up there. It's part of the park, so I'm getting close to the fringe of it, but I just checked my map on the phone. And, um, come quite a distance for a mile already, so there's a leaning tree there. A lot of dead and rotting timber overhead. And unfortunately, I forgot my GoPro stick. All the things to forget. I'm left with one little tripod. That's okay because that's what I mainly use, anyways. Yeah, this trail's definitely looping back now. Okay. Keep going. Do you notice anything that seems out of place in this shot? If you guessed the really obvious answer, then you were right. I'm surprised to see pine trees here. 
This is a pretty big one too. That's wider, the base of this is wider than I could uh, wrap my arms around. It's hard to tell the scale on camera, so I'm gonna set you down right here and uh, stand under it for a minute. big old tree. I wonder how many uh, years and winters that thing has seen out here. It looks like there's a dead one. Not as recently cut, but probably got blown over too. Some more dying stuff, bark stripping off the tree trunk. Even more just recently down timber. Comes across the trail still. Doesn't look like somebody's quite had the time to cut it up into small enough pieces to move it out of the way. If I had a pair of gloves, I'd try dragging it, but I don't. Or at least not work gloves. Mountain bike trail. Four miles. That might be fun sometime if I had a mountain bike. Really pretty big old tree trunk here. Looks like a giant branch fell off of it too. I'm not gonna stand up that. I wonder where this road goes. I need to keep heading this way, so this is where we will go. Thirty seven minutes I've been walking. And it's about to be four thirty means I have less than an hour of light left and I can tell it's starting to fade well I shouldn't say less than an hour less than an hour of the Sun being up sunset is at 514 according to the weather app um, but it'll stay light for a little bit longer than that but not much especially not out here so I'm trying to hightail it back to parking lot get the truck get to the campsite check it out see what's what and then uh, start getting set up for the night and start cooking <laughs> looks like that way it leads to the campground so I mean, realistically I could come out here after it gets dark after I eat and stuff if I want to we'll see got a couple movies on my little laptop downloaded that I think I might just cozy in and watch, but we shall see. Looks like some more freshly cut timber. Not a very scenic hiking trail this time of year, but for the walking exercise and just being out in mostly relative quiet, and I can hear a few cars passing by me on the close by road once in a while, but it's still not bad. It's, it's worth it. Still though, the prettiest times will probably be spring or fall to do this. A little before the insects in spring and right around when they start dying off in the autumn and all the leaves are changing but still on the trees and not cluttering up the forest ground like this. But uh, credit to the DNR or maintenance or whoever here at Potato Creek keeps these uh, trails clean. They're doing a pretty good job. And we have reached the end hiking trail. This is about as far as I came in on this one on that one run really windy day. 
nice to be able to get out and do the whole thing. It's about 442. You can't really see my watch. Just over two miles I've walked now. Felt really good. A little tired. Nose is cold. But we're almost there. Go warm up in the truck for a bit and then uh, head to the campground to check it out. Dirty as I thought it would. Not too bad. Still pretty warm in here, even though I haven't been in here for about an hour. Well, we are here at the campground. Looks like it'd be a pretty nice place. We've got a little table. I'll probably cook on that tonight. Got electric, even though I obviously don't really need it because I don't have a trailer. There's only one other person here with their trailer over there. Little fire pit. I don't have any wood this time to burn just because I thought it would probably be too cold and wet. But There's some monster cans in there, people littering. Come on now. The nearest restroom. I'm not really even sure. I'll have to check my map again, but there's places not far. There might be one over there, but I'm going to get set up. I'll get started cooking first things first. What I have to do is put this on site two. In the little box. There's no little box here. What? Oh. Right here is where it's supposed to go. Ugh. Yep. Hopefully, if it rains or something tonight, that doesn't get messed up. But got another one in the front of the truck there. protection just in case I should need it. I probably shouldn't have here, but you never know. Better safe than sorry. And my maps obviously. Cool. Did not bring the electric one this time just because it's already like 38 degrees out here. I'll leave my food outside overnight. And all that, so that should be fine. It'll be 32 tonight, it might even freeze, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started setting up. Got a new stove. This is the Everest Camp Chef. Two burner mountain series stove. Got this on Black Friday uh, from Amazon for about $120. I tested it out. I have not used it to cook anything yet, so I'm really excited to do that. It is about 5.07, so sun is setting in seven minutes. I probably don't have much daylight left after that, but not to worry. Got the old Jackery here, fully charged. I have a light strip, which supposed to go like underneath a cover to light up the countertop but we'll use that if we need to got a few little lanterns and flashlights and other such gizmos too if we need them but let's go ahead and get started cooking got the stove all set up this is a nice shiny new clean stove but about to get it all dirty and greasy probably so tonight for dinner i'm going to be making mashed potatoes steak and i'm going to try to uh, saute some carrots with the steak. I think I forgot my onion to cook with the steak, but um, the carrots hopefully will be good. Got some drinks in here too. A couple eggs for tomorrow morning's breakfast. A stick of butter. 
And there's our steak, a nice ribeye. That should be good. That's where the carrots at. Oh, they're in here somewhere. I do have some green onion. Not super fresh, but it should still uh, add to the dish. And my carrots. All right, time to get started. When I make mashed potatoes, I usually use these uh, smaller red potatoes, and I just leave the skins right on them. Tastes good. I might quarter these better pieces. Just so they cook faster, hopefully, or soften up faster. I guess it would technically be I'm cutting them eight times, I think. There's three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. I don't know. I'm not good at math. I don't know what that's called. I like to cook. That doesn't mean I'm familiar with the terminology. I just do things. It's past 514 now, so the sun has set. I can definitely tell it's getting dark very quickly. I'm going to have to turn on my lights here. Probably pretty soon. I'm sure those people over there in that trailer are looking at me like, what the hell is this weirdo doing? Like, really? You're out here just cooking a random meal? <laughs> Who knows? Potatoes are submerged. Let's go ahead and fire this new stove up and get this uh, get these cooking. Is my propane all the way connected? I'm not sure. Give me a minute. All right, I figured out what the problem was. Propane wasn't propped up far enough. Should be good now. There we go. Yep. She's a cooking. Let that start getting hot. These will take a while, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'll get started setting up my bed. I'll have to move all this stuff out the way first, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Actually, we'll get the carrots ready first. Might have brought a few too many of these. Probably won't use all of them since I only have one small pan to cook them in. But um, that's yeah. This is probably going to be enough. This means that I can save them for later. Yeah, one more slice. That's going to be good for me, I think. I'll shove these in here, kind of off to the side like that space for the steak in the middle. Put these back. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the potatoes real quick to hopefully get them to boil a little faster. This stove already looks like it's doing a pretty nice job while I'm at it. Let's just go ahead and get everything else ready to the steak. That's a pretty big steak. Let's see. Fit that in there. Just like that. 
that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Wish I had not forgotten my onions. Oh well. I'll grab a disinfectant wipe. Because yes, I don't want to get sick. blend, but I'm going to use it on the steak. See how it pastes. And then a little bit of salt. And some black pepper. And I don't know about you, but to me, that's looking like it's going to be pretty good. Last but not least, we'll go ahead and get a few green onions chopped up here. Put these in the uh, mashed potatoes and on the steak. Just for some added flavor. When it's done, and I'll probably just. You can tell it's getting dark already. Let's see what time it is. It's. 532, yeah, it doesn't take long for the light to disappear once the sun sets out here, especially in the winter. Just go ahead and throw these green onions. Ooh, they smell good. They smell real good. In here for now. And I think that about does our cooking prep. So give those potatoes some time, and I'm going to try to get my bed set up while they keep cooking. So this is going to be home for the night. I've got an inflatable mattress here, and uh this thing, which um, goes down here in between the two front seats, which supports the mattress. And that will be where I'm going to try to get my stuff tonight. Get this out of the way. And I've got the little inflator tool right here. And I'm going to plug that into the jackery. Oops, I just almost dropped it. I did drop it. I'm stupid into the jackery, like so. You can't really see. It's getting dark out here already. Just like that. Turn that on. And grab this back up. This little tool. And we'll get started on our inflation of the bed. forgot two things this little tool it's supposed to have like a little cone that goes on the end of it so you can stick it further in there to inflate this but I got it to go pretty well enough I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the actual mattress part inflated now so give me just a second on that and I'll show you what it looks like after the fact well I got it all done it's inflated so this is gonna be home for tonight, right here in the back seat. Let's go check on the mashed potatoes. They're coming along nicely, it looks like. Turn the heat up a little bit. Yeah, real nice. I can probably get the steak started now. light bar on as you see pretty well out here yeah these potatoes are getting nice and soft now definitely time to get the steak started all right 
This is so much nicer than the other stove, which I had to carry a lighter for. I love it. That sounded like a gunshot. Hmm. I wish I had something to, like, hang right behind the stove where I could light it, like, backlight it, too, but I didn't actually have an idea. Got the potatoes on real low. The steak is going now. But that there helps me see a little bit. I can see better than the GoPro can out here. You can see it's getting it's getting dark. That is smelling good. I'm gonna turn off the potatoes now. I think they're about done. And turn this down a little bit. There we go. Sticking. Might give it a few more minutes because it seems to be sticking just a little bit. Look on the carrots though. There's the steak. A little more well done than I would like on that side, but that's okay. Hard to cook out here in the dark. I can see pretty decently well, but let's go ahead and grab me a Dr. Pepper here. It's not super cold, but take a drink of that. Get this dark out here. It's kind of creepy. All around me. Pretty much pitch black. I think if I turned all these lights off, I'd probably, um, my vision would adjust a little better, but since I kind of need them to cook, I can't really do that right now. So, so nice, so. Okay, those carrots are coming along pretty good. Check this side of the steak. Yeah, that's looking pretty good too. Go ahead and let that keep cooking for a little bit. Um, I might get the mashed potatoes ready. Alright, I have a GoPro in my mouth, so that's why I sound weird. But well, for mashed potatoes, what I like to do, and again, you're not going to be able to see it really well, it might help a little bit, is Keep a little bit of the water. See how I can get you over here. Keep a little bit of the water. Dump the rest. And then stick of butter. Pop that in there. Uh, the green onion. Add some of that. I think that's most of it. Not quite all of it, but most of it. And then a little bit of salt. And that's the curry powder. I don't want to put that in there. <laughs> Black pepper. There we go. Take our handy dandy mashing tool and I'm going to mash these up. My propane is starting to ice up here. It's a problem when you get these out into colder temperatures. But just wanted to battle empty anyways. I've used that on all my other cooking videos. Surprised it actually has lasted long. But let's look at the mashed potatoes. I gotta add a little salt and pepper. And the steak and carrots. That's looking pretty pretty good if I say so myself. Well there it is, all done. 
how you can see it. Let's do this. There you go. Steak, mashed potatoes, and some carrots. I must say that looks pretty good. I'm going to grab a chair. And uh, actually, I can't grab my chair because it's under the mattress. Never mind. I'll just stand and eat. That's okay. Let's dig into this. Mmm, -mm. that's some good stuff. Nice and warm. Might have made a little bit too much mashed potatoes. Probably enough for like two people, but it'll help keep it warm. Try out the steak. I can't see that very well. Oh. So good. I love pan fried steak. Mmm, mmm. That's some good stuff right there. More potatoes. Oh. Let's try carrot. good and flavorful cooking in those steak juices they probably could have used a couple more minutes the carrots but I'm not gonna complain it's warm and good and obviously for making all of this on a camp stove which that camp stove really kicked ass I'd say it turned out well. It is a little bit eerie out here. Now that it's basically pitch black, I can't see beyond my lights very far at all. Yeah. There's basically a 10 foot radius around me, if that, in which I can see. But of course, I got all my lights pointing inward here to my food right now. So I can actually eat. But peaceful out here. I love cooking. I don't get a chance to do it very often. I mentioned uh, I work in a loud, noisy warehouse. I also work second shift from uh, 1 to 10 p.m. So, I made a lot of my meals. If I cook, I'm eating them five, six, seven hours later, so they're not fresh and hot like this, or I'm just eating a frozen meal or a sandwich or something like that, you know. I was really out in the wilderness, you know, backpacking or doing a multi-day trip or anything, I probably wouldn't cook like this. Well, I definitely wouldn't, but given I have the luxury of my truck right here, and I'm only out for one night, I figure what the hell. Come out, relax. That carrot definitely could have used some more time, but, uh, Come out, relax, cook up a good meal, and just have a good time. And hopefully share that time with any, uh, any, any of you who are watching. It's real creepy out here. I might set this lantern up top. Just give me a little more light in the space around me. I've also... take a bite of this real quick. I'm trying to eat before it gets too cold.
this is a candle lantern. I got this um, as part of one of my battle box shipments, and I'm going to just light it up and try it out right now. My lighters are getting cold. There we go. And then I think all you do is you just pop this. Excuse me. Oof. How terribly inappropriate. Pop that up in there like that to make sure the lid or the bottom is in securely. Which it feels like it is. And you have a little candle lantern. Not very bright, but it does give me a little bit of warmth for like my hands and stuff. Actually, my hands are not really that cold though. And this food is helping me keep me warm. But I'm going to eat up, uh, clean up, get all that stuff done, and then I will see you back after that. Well, except for putting the cooler away, we are basically all cleaned up. Stove is gone. Packed it back up nice and neat. Up real quick. Packed it back up in this little box. Everything else still chilling here. I'm gonna sit for a little bit. Just finish off my Dr. Pepper, and uh, maybe if you can see my breath. Look for the um, bathrooms after this. Hear a train in the distance. If not, if you can't find the bathrooms, whatever, if they're locked, this will do the trick. The funny thing is, it's this dark out. You literally can't see anything. I can see with the lights on, oh, I don't know, 10 to 20 feet. At about a 180 degree radius around me from my lights pointing that way but it's only 638 that's how quickly it gets dark i can still see a little bit of sunlight out that way i don't know that the gopro will pick it up though i wish i had a i just wish i had a fire now but <clears throat> excuse me this is all i got and we'll make do with it Well, I went to grab the cigars I bought earlier, and uh, they were broken in half. So hopefully between these two bits, I can get my whole cigar in. But it's now about 6.47. It hasn't really been that long since I last checked in with you. It's getting cold. I'm getting cold. It's going to take long for the temps to start dropping out here. since I've had one of these too. 99 cent Swisher Sweets, but they get the job done. Everything all cleaned up. Our bed is pretty much ready. Um, not even 7 o'clock yet. Like I said, since I work second shift, I'm usually up until 1 or 2 in the morning, so this is going to be interesting what I'm going to do for uh, 4 or 5 hours out here. Because I had earlier... Got a few movies that I can watch if if I want to, but damn. I don't think this is the end I'm meant to be smoking from. I think it's this end, but we'll get this done first. Love it out here. This is the boring section for some people, maybe, where I just sit and talk to the camera. But, for me, this is peaceful. Got a few lights left. I put one away. Got the little candle lantern, which is cool. I love that. <coughs> uh, 
that light, the jackery. Obviously, we got our plug over there, but I don't need that jackery still at 91%. Truck right here. One other person out that way somewhere that I know of. If I happen to get murdered, well, when you find this footage, know that I was out here enjoying myself when it happened. <sighs> Sit back down for a bit. I tell you what, I am tired from that two mile hike. I walk a lot at work, but, um, not, uh, <coughs> how do you say, consecutively like that. All at one time, I like I'll walk a little bit, stop and do stuff, walk a little bit, stop and do stuff. Being a warehouse picker kind of involves, you know, a lot of lifting. But I think I'm about done with this session. It's burning really unevenly. But check out this new... This is an electric lighter that I got from Amazon. It uses electric arcs to light stuff. Probably wouldn't be very good to like light a fire or anything, unless it was really dry and you had good kindling. But for a cigar, not too bad. Kind of helps preserve the flavor a little bit, and you know all that. Don't take long over to the fire pit. <coughs> Second like finish. So you can see that's in there soaking wet leaves all around it you know so that's not gonna start a fire or anything but just in case we'll do this real quick stamp it out know how much more I'm gonna record tonight if I feel like cooking and dragging all the cooking equipment back out tomorrow got stuff to make for breakfast uh, eggs and bacon I was gonna just dice up a few more potatoes and kind of cook potatoes and then put egg over it and make like a scrambly mash of whatever you would call that scrambling mash of eggs potatoes and bacon Got some instant coffee. I will at least probably make that tomorrow. But I want to thank you again. I don't know how many more times I'll say this. Thank you again for joining me. Hope you're entertained. And I appreciate your viewership. Still hear cars in the distance once in a while. Uh, jets passing overhead, probably going to Chicago or coming from it. You know. But uh, overall, pretty quiet out here. Chill. Peaceful vibe. I'm pretty sure. Summertime, you would probably have a lot of kids running around, you know, people playing, having bonfires, hell, hell in the summertime. 6.53, it wouldn't even be dark until like 10 o'clock, so this place would be hopping. But wintertime, yeah, the cigars, the cigars already out. I might just have to get my regular lighter for this. I think I'm going to finish this off. Um, throw the jackery and the light strip back in the truck. Uh, blow out the candle here. And then maybe go check out the bathrooms. I keep saying that. I think I'll just take a chance and head out there and see what's what. But after that, it'll be time to settle in for the night. Anyways, see you in a bit. Well, judging from the map, it looks like the nearest uh, bathroom is out that way. 
but it's we could see it earlier when it was light out and I don't think I'm gonna do that walk all the way over there just because I don't know um, even if it's, if it's even open I don't think it's just vault toilets here it's actual uh, bathrooms and showers and facilities like that so I have no idea if they're open this late I couldn't see anything I was reading the map didn't see anything about um, when uh, the bathrooms and stuff would be open or closed for the season so I'm just going to uh, do what I alluded to earlier when necessary but I'm gonna go ahead and crawl into the truck here pretty soon waiting for this to cool down yeah that cooled down pretty quickly this little candle lantern pop that Actually, I might leave that in the back. Just, you know, of all the lights I brought with me, a flashlight, an actual flashlight was not one of them, which is kind of stupid. Lessons learned, right? I should have went and checked out the bathrooms while I still had light, but that's okay. Time to climb in. And the last, but certainly not least thing you want to do after eating and uh, smoking a cigar is this. Definitely, definitely, definitely do not want to forget to brush. Oops, my toothpaste is getting cold. <laughs> do not want to forget to brush those teeth. Oh no. I didn't think to show you my bed before um, I climbed in here, but I've got a couple of little curtains hung up to block the view from the front of the truck, and then some reflective, uh, like sunscreens in the side back windows. But this is where I'll be sleeping on this air mattress. Inflated pretty nicely, it feels like. It's my lunch tray. Sometimes when I eat in the truck, uh, two pillows, and then I got my keys right here in this cup holder in case I need to access them quickly in one night, some night, phone, protection, lighter, and all of these little lights. It is now only 7.12, but surprisingly, I think just being out here with nothing to do, I'm starting to get a little bit tired, so I'm going to uh, snuggle in. Maybe watch some YouTube or something and um, just kind of chill a little bit. Doesn't feel so bad in here yet. Just in case I need it, absolutely need it, I've got this little electric space heater. It can run off my Jackery 500. It will drain it pretty quickly, but if I need to warm up, I can use that. I can obviously put my big coat back on. Or I can even start the truck if I really absolutely needed to, but I prefer not to do that. But I do have a full tank of gas if I needed to get out of here. I can fit through this gap between the seats if I needed to leave in a hurry, but I really don't anticipate any problems, honestly. I mean, I don't know. I don't think there's going to be anybody out here trying to do stupid stuff to me. I'm going to change to my last fully charged GoPro battery. That way I should be good for a while and then um like I said, snuggle in and uh watch some YouTube or Netflix. I did actually want to show you this thing too real quick. This is a thing from my Patriot Supply a Ready Hour Power Bank. It's got uh three USB plugs here, which I'm actually using to recharge my GoPros. You can see there are two batteries are at 31 and 21%. Got the third one in here, hundred percent now. But this is Charger, you can charge like phones, small devices, anything like that off of it. So I have that in addition to the Jackery, and it's also a light bar. So this thing I think is pretty cool. But I've obviously got this light bar. Again, this one is to hang like under a counter. Or not under a counter, Jesus Christ. Oh, JC 
hang under a cabinet like to light up a countertop at night that's what that's for but it works just as fine for a chalk light honestly Got that plugged into the jack rave the jack rave which is at 91 percent still so i should be good with light for the evening wanted to give a quick update it is about 7 41 now I am getting a little tired, but uh, this Ready Hour pattern, battery pack charged up my GoPro batteries super fast. That's really impressive, so I'm, I'm happy about that. So they're good for tomorrow morning if I decide to stick around and cook breakfast. Um, but there's that. It is getting a little cold in here. Not bad, but my, my toes and um, fingertips are getting a little, just a little cold. So I might just try turning on this little space heater for just a few minutes. Let's set these up there. I don't need, should need any more batteries for the night. This one's still at 100%. Uh, let's, set up this, let's set up this little heater. Let's bring this over here, actually. I'll leave that up there. I set up my jacket. Can't really see it, but not a jacket. And this piece of cardboard here kind of covering the back window. It is tinted, but with lights on, you can see basically right in here. And yeah, I don't really want that. So let's plug this little baby in. A little space heater. And I'll see, fire her up, see how she does. All right, it's on. starting to pump out a little bit of heat this is basically it's not even really a space heater it's just more of a personal heater that you would sit on your desk like warm up your hands and stuff like that but you know the space as small as this it's not that actually might work for a space heater it does draw a lot of power off the jackery so let's see um where's the button for the display Jackery is at 90% right now. It is currently 7.44. So um, we'll see what this gets down to after like five or 10 minutes of running this to warm it back up in here. But uh, I'm gonna snuck back in and keep watching the YouTube video I found. So it's now 7.56. And after about 10 minutes of running this little heater, Jackery is down to 85% from 90. So, uh, if you take into consideration on low, this little heater drew 5% of the battery in about 10 minutes. What does that give you for battery life? I don't know. A couple hours max, maybe? Let me do some quick math here. Okay, so if I kept this heater running uh, for uh, just forever, for as long as the battery lasted, it would last about three hours, a little less than three hours. Probably exactly three hours on a full charge, or thereabouts, but I'm going to turn this off when I go to sleep just so it doesn't cause a fire or anything, and then just snuggle into my sleeping bag and my blankets and stuff. But uh, for now, it's keeping me pretty, pretty warm. It feels nice. But this is probably the last I will talk to you for the night, unless anything crazy happens, which hopefully it won't, but I don't know, be comfortable, recline, um, and put on a Netflix on my phone and try to fall asleep. See sunrise is around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, so I've got about 12 hours just to chill and do nothing. I know I talked about a nature hike, but with it being completely overcast, um, way too cloudy and dark to go out and do that, especially without an actual flashlight, which I can't believe I forgot. Or it just got buried under all my stuff and I can't find it in the dark. Either way, I'm in here now. I'm not going to try to crawl back out without my jacket and shoes and all that stuff again, so I'm just going to chill in here. 
till sunrise, and I'll see you in the morning for coffee and breakfast, perhaps. Till then. Uh, good night, everyone. One last update before I go to sleep. I was actually just dozing for about a half hour. It's cold in here. It's probably about, let's see, 33 degrees outside now. Um, it's about 11.30 at night. Um, <laughs> my mind's not working even properly, but <laughs> had to pull out the sleeping bag. I got the sleeping bag all on me now. Some magazines and cardboard and my coat blocking that back window. But I'm all nice and cozy in here. It's a little cold in the cab of the truck, but under the sleeping bag, uh, I was so warm. I was sweating. I had to take off the uh, long sleeve shirt I had on, but sunrise is eight, like 8.01 tomorrow. If there's light before that, I'll get up and start uh, making breakfast and cleaning up and stuff, but this is this air mattress and all the blankets and sleeping bag. It's actually way more comfortable than I thought, except for obviously not being able to stretch my legs out in the back of the truck because it's limited space. This is really not too bad. Really not too bad at all. At least I'm warm. Got a safe place to sleep. Have protection if I need it. Which I highly, highly doubt. But you never know. Better have it and not need it. Need it and not have it. So. Anyways, officially this time. Good night. And I will see you in the morning. It is 7.50. Just a little bit before sunrise, but it's already starting to get light out. I've been awake for about 10 minutes now, but just staying warm under all the covers. Felt pretty cold last night, at least in air, but I was nice and warm all night under this. I didn't sleep too well, just because of how cramped it is. Nothing to do with, like, not being warm enough or comfortable enough, except for the close quarters, but not too bad. I got about five hours between about 1 and 6 a.m., so that was pretty good. feel pretty good, so wait for it to get a little bit more light out. See, it's a lot of moisture in here from my warm breath uh, and the moisture in it collecting on the cold windows all night. But yeah, wait a little bit, just a little bit more light, and I'll get up and uh, start cleaning up. Give you a quick look at the bed set up, actually in the light, so you can see it a little better. Oh, it feels good to stretch the legs out. Oh, wow. Okay. Here's basically how I slept last night. Got this uh, inflatable mattress. This part down here uh, supports it. And then I just kind of cocooned myself in a few blankets. Topped off by my sleeping bag, which kept me nicely warm all night. I'm gonna go ahead and get started cleaning this stuff up. I'm gonna heat up some coffee and uh, cook breakfast here. So, give me a few minutes. Time for a hot cup of coffee.
Feels good on my hands too. They're a little cold. Gotta heat up while I get breakfast ready. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be cutting this in, in a pan, but this is an old pan. It's, okay. Dang it, the cap came off that. There we go. My hands are freezing, dude. these on here let that go for a little while this is that coffee from the MRE I had last month Bill's Brew freeze dried coffee Not usually a coffee drinker, but when it's cold like today, when I'm out in the cold like today, I definitely gonna enjoy this. Bacon smells good over there. and warm. eggs I'm gonna add to the potato pan. Uh, gonna make a little bit of a breakfast mash here.
thing's starting to frost up again. Hopefully it lasts long enough to cook. The same one I used again last night, so this propane tank is the same one I've used for all of my cooking videos. There's only like three, but still, I mean... Like that's pretty impressive for one of these things. Let's this around a little bit. Just wipe out. And there we go. The egg and potato mix doesn't exactly look very good, but the bacon sure does. Mm. Nice and warm. And crisp. Perfect. Oh yeah. Give the egg and potato mix a try here. It'll taste pretty good. It's definitely better than it looks. Add a little more salt and pepper when the camera was off. The camera battery's getting low, and apparently my other GoPro batteries died last night, probably because of the cold. So I've got about 20% charge left on this one. And that's it. That's all I'm going to film. So. I'm going to eat up. And then hit the road. Head home. Well, I've got to admit, this Everest Camp Series stove is pretty good. I really, really like it. Having two burners is super nice. The flames are fairly controllable with these knobs. The self-ignition switch is just a blessing. Issue, of course, is with these things. It's not even below freezing out here, and yet that's like all frosted up. It's like 38 degrees out. Warm it up a little bit. I'm all packed up pretty much. Just gotta put the stove back in its box, put away my water, cooler, and all that, and I'll be ready to roll up on out of here. Warmed up. Oh, that's right, this stuff's on the inside. Well, I think that's just gonna about conclude today's video. I wanna thank you again joining me. Once more, I hope you were entertained, or at least that I was able to help you uh, kill some time if you were bored out there doing who knows what. But um, for whatever reason you watch, 
thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And until whenever the next time is, peace, everybody.